What's up, Internet? Take two of our budget build series. And bakit take two? Yung unang ating attempt ended in failure. We're trying to do a budget build for around 15,000. And the best approach at that price point is to buy secondhand parts. Pinili namin bumili ng OEM or yung mga office computer type. One, because if you're starting out with a budget build, you most likely cut your teeth or na introduce ka sa computer with these office computers. And that's sort of like the origin story. A lot of us start out with monkeying around with our office. Bag mo na ikwento sa boss namin. Na you go into the computer and you kind of figure out what hardware you can add. You start experimenting in Windows. So OEM computers are familiar to a lot of first-time builders. And the performance is good because a lot of the big offices routinely swap out PCs. So two or three generations, ayo nila, tinatapon nila sa second-hand market, sobrang mura, pero good pa rin performance ng mga to. The downside to using that kind of approach is that sometimes off-the-shelf components like the GPU that we wanted to put inside our OEM computers, they won't work. And yung problem dun sa first build namin, sobrang good deal nito. This is the first guy that we got, Intel 10th Gen, a really good price. You can check out our first video about it. Ang problema, the GPU that we wanted to use with it, the 1650, hindi siya kasha. It just literally wouldn't fit inside here. And that's one of the drawbacks of using OEM computers as your first gaming PC, second-hand budget PC. Ang hirap mag-research. <laughs> I mean, this guy is called the HP Desktop. This guy is called the HP Pro Desk. There are very generic names. Tapos pabago-bago yung specs ng mga to. Another PC could be called the HP Pro Desk, and it could have different components, different interior. The advice is to research, but to do that advice is very difficult. Pero yung, nga, yung pros, good performance at a good price. So we kept at it, and we got an HP desktop, and this time it's gonna work. This is an Intel 8th Gen with 500GB hard drive, 2x4, 8GB total of RAM, 180W PSU. More importantly, we can finally fit our 1650 GPU in here. So the price of this guy was 8,500. The GPU was 5,500. So that's a total of 14,000 pesos. Swak dun sa max budget natin of 15,000. Yung tanong, nagawa na natin to, maganda ba yung performance niya? Pero bago nun, kung interested ka sa computer, whether budget or otherwise, you probably need to activate Windows. And for that, we recommend our sponsor. So a lot of our videos, pag scroll down mo, nandun na yung links sa video description. Like for example, dito, scroll down tayo. Pipiliin mo lang yung Windows na kailangan mo. Win 10 Pro, Home, Win 11 Pro. Kami, we just usually recommend Win 10 Pro. So we'll click that link. Lalabas si sponsor. Tapos ako, since ginagamit nga namin to regularly, naka-sign in na ako, may account na ako. But if you don't have one, account creation is super easy. If you've done any kind of e-commerce purchases, kabisado mo na yun. But here we are at the Win10 Pro page. Let's say quantity, just need to buy one. Click mo buy now. And ito yung pinakamahalaga. You can use our discount code HS20. Click apply. Tapos you'll get a 25% discount. So instead of $22.21, naging $16.66 na lang. Click Submit Order. And there are a variety of payment options available. Once you click Pay Now, you will be able to find the key that you ordered in your account profile. Just copy that key, go to Windows Activator, paste it, and your Windows is activated. Good to go. In this budget build too, the GPU we used was an ASUS 1650. We didn't need to use anymore the Gigabyte Low Profile GPU, which was giving us such a hard time in budget build 1. Numbers were very decent, especially considering this is a 15,000 peso build. All FPS mentioned here are the average frames per second tallied. In Forza 4, 1080p medium preset, we hit 109 FPS. In Final Fantasy 14, Endwalker at 1080p high preset, we got 67 FPS. And finally, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 1080p high preset, we got 51 frames per second. Rounding out the numbers with some benchmarking software, in TimeSpy, we got a GPU score of 3377, a CPU score of 4457, and a combined score of 3504. In Superposition 1080p medium settings, we had an average FPS of 49.17 and a score of 6607. 
very good numbers. This is comfortable gaming even for demanding titles at a very good price. But we're not done yet. We really wanted to try our budget build one which used an Intel 10th Gen 1650 GPU compared to this current budget build 2 which is an 8th Gen Intel CPU 1650 GPU. So same GPUs but a 2 generation gap between budget build 1 and budget build 2. Pero nasasayangan talaga kami that we weren't able to use it. So just for purposes of benchmarking, we used a riser cable 1650 with the Intel 10th Gen. And the results were pretty surprising. The two budget builds were super close. Benchmarking tools muna tayo. In Time Spy, budget build 1 had a combined score of 3542. Budget build 2 had a combined score of 3504. In superposition, 1080p medium settings, budget build 1 had an average FPS of 48.9 with a total score of 6537. Budget build 2 edges it out just slightly with average FPS of 49.17 and a score of 6607. In games, budget build 1 had 100 FPS on Forza 4 compared to 109 FPS for budget build 2. In Final Fantasy XIV, Budget Build 1 had 68 frames per second versus 67 for Budget Build 2. And finally, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Budget Build 1 had 45 frames per second with Budget Build 2 tallying 51 FPS. The only game where we saw a substantial difference between the two systems and the lead even goes to the older rig, the Budget Build 2. We were really surprised with Budget Build 2 because it is two generations behind Budget Build 1. And yet, it kept pace and even pulled ahead in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So two takeaways from all of this. Number one, for gaming, GPU is really king. The driving horse for games is still the GPU. And if you're going to be using your PC for that, that's really where you should focus your money on. Not anything groundbreaking, certainly, but always good to be reminded Especially in stark terms like this na two generations between the two CPUs pero basically wala lang yun for gaming. GPU talaga yung pinakamahalaga. Number two, having a budget gaming rig which performs really well is possible but you should buy second hand. For this price point, dun talaga yung value for money. As we mentioned in our previous video, pinili nga namin to mga old office OEM kasi ang dami sa market. Nafa flood yung market ng mga to because the big companies are looking to upgrade the computers of their employees. So readily available. And the price is around 8,000 for this whole computer. And then you get a secondhand 1650 for around 7,000. So you have a 15,000 peso build, which is somewhat upgradable and will tackle most games really quite well for the price point. Me challenges nga going this route, buying second hand, buying OEM, and again, we tackled that in the first budget build video. But if you do your research and with a little bit of luck, makukuha mo rin tong price to performance, very good value for money like we've gotten here. Or if you don't want to think about it too much, to be honest, binabenta namin tong budget build too. We only bought it for purposes of these videos, we don't have need for it in the shop. We got it for around 15,000. Although yung budget build one, may kasama rin peripherals. Hindi namin binabenta yung budget build one kasi nagoyo ako ng mga tech guys natin sa shop. They were like, oh, may isa pa tayong project. We can actually use budget build one for something. The initial plan was really just to sell that thing. But the guys in the shop, si Nail Stock ako, apparently they've gotten good at that, selling stuff for hardware sugar, which you're gonna learn more about in a future video. But we're not selling budget build one, we're selling budget build two with the peripherals from budget build one. We're gonna sell it at a slight markup, but nothing too high. Just to recoup the cost and recoup the time that we spent working on it, testing it. Because this is a rig that we made sure worked, number one, and number two, actually benchmark. So the quality is basically assured on our end. If you're interested, you can find the details in the secondhand parts list, Hardware Sugar has a secondhand parts list, where if you're a Hardware Sugar customer, you can send any old computer item to us, doesn't need to be bought from us and we'll sell it for you. We don't take any cut from the sales, except for parts which we're actually directly selling. But if you're an owner, send the item to us, we'll sell it for you, and then we'll directly send you the money. Warranty is between the two parties, so the buyer and the seller. Hardware Sugar just facilitates everything, make, gives you a more visible platform. Tapos yung maganda sa second-hand parts list, it gives you greater visibility 
for your secondhand parts since we do mention it a bunch of times in the videos and a lot of people kind of already know about us. And actually, the turnover rate um, is pretty good. And we like it. Again, we don't earn anything from it, but it's something that helps prevent e-waste. So we've done three budget build videos. Budget build one, na nabigo tayo. We weren't able to do the build that we wanted, basically because the GPU wouldn't fit. Budget build 1.5 video talked about some of the suggestions you guys had on how to fix that build. And here we have budget build 2 where we actually got to use an OEM PC and got to use the GPU that we wanted. And overall, ganda ng performance for the price point. There are some difficulties in this approach, but if you're trying to go down this route, hopefully these three videos will help you out with that. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.